Well, hello there. Welcome to Cool Factor. This is Mike. Uh, San Diego Comic Con is actually this weekend as I'm recording this, but not in the San Diego Convention Center as you would expect. No, no, no. That's the second time in the row when we have Comic Con at home. The last edition in the Convention Center was 2019. I was, there was a lot of fun. But second year in a row, we have Comic Con at home. And I want to just focus in this video on Lego because Lego is part of the exhibitors list. And, uh, well, I did record a short session during our live stream today. So uh, let's uh, let, hope you guys will appreciate what I had to say. All right, so this is Comic-Con in your own page. You can go there and watch the exhibits. I'm not going to delve into this, what's going on, but let me just do one thing. Lego is an exhibitor. Lego is an exhibitor on Comic-Con. Wait, before we jump to where are the exclusive Lego minifigs? Collectibles from San Diego Comic Con. No, wait, click exhibitors. We go. We go here. Lego group. Click Lego. And you expect, wow, it's gonna be something amazing if it's gonna be something exclusive. No, <laughs> that's it. The Lego just put a few thumbnails for their current products. The Batman cow, the Batwing, the Darth Vader helmet, Venom, Spider-Man spider layer, the bad base from that comic book, and random X-Wing, and two Harry Potter sets. And the comic creator, that's it. That's their exhibition. That's their official Comic-Con exhibition. And you click on any of these, and it just shows you a little window, what's up? And you go to buy it. That's the whole Comic-Con experience from LEGO. And we were like, wow, they were gonna make you do a raffle for exclusive minifigures. No, they just had a Comic-Con landing page with terrible, by the way, the graphics are so low resolution. And you just click on it. They chose like a random bunch of products and you go and you click and you just go to buy it. That's it. That's the whole Lego Comic Con. That's why they're an exhibitor on Lego Comic Con at home. <sighs> you see my sigh there? You see it? Like, you know why? I was excited. I, I saw Lego group in the exhibitor list. Like, wow, like maybe I can click and, and, and enter a raffle like every Comic Con ever to find uh, uh, my name on a list for a really cool exclusive minifigure. No. <laughs> no. Oh no! Anyway, last week... This is just, 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 that's it. That's it. That's, that's all it is. To summarize the whole thing up, why is this a failure? It doesn't necessarily have to be LEGO's fault of that, the way things are on their exhibition effort on Comic-Con. Uh, Comic-Con is somewhat declining because of two years in a row not being a live event. It just, LEGO does not really have a lot of interest right now in participating in Comic-Con, it seems like at least, the way they used to in the past years. You know, we can talk all we want about how uh, we can hate the way LEGO was distributing minifigures in Comic-Con, how exclusive they have been, how difficult it was for people from other countries or just people who were not able to attend Comic-Con whatsoever to attain those minifigures and how crazy of a price tags they would receive on eBay afterwards. But still, that like, the part of that was pretty you know, significant part of the Comic-Con experience, like getting those exclusives, standing in those lines, all that. But that, that was like the whole picture that LEGO was providing in Comic-Con. A lot of people disagreed with that, a lot of people did agree with that, but it was like that. So for the better, for the worse, you decide. I just feel that LEGO doing such a lackluster uh, presentation exhibitor page, just, you know, honestly, like picking few Batman sets and just doing a random X-Wing, some Harry Potter, and that comic book maker from basically two years ago without any change, because I remember exactly how it was in the past, that's kind of, you know, tells the whole story that LEGO, uh, as long as the Comic-Con does not return to its former glory and to its former live hyped crazy packed event, there is no, I guess, significance for LEGO to come back to that and offer anything beyond that. So they just like put this off, 
list stuff in there maybe comic con ask them to be part of the exhibitor list to maybe get more people to watch comic con at home this year because apparently last year wasn't as bit of a it wasn't really a success and i don't think this year will be either but it's it, it felt pushed it felt like something that lego didn't really want to do and they just like put a bunch of products randomly that's kind of connected to comic con through a buy link and that's pretty much it that's the whole comic con 2021 experience from lego i don't like that i think you guys may not like, like that either um there is a live event of comic con planned later this fall actually comic con is uh, um, promising to do something live some sort of an event where exhibitors can participate and lo live um, fans members of the audience can participate as well but we don't know how it's going to look like and we don't know if that's going to be the replacement for the real comic-con because apparently from all the rumors and all the discussion the comic-con as an event as a full convention center packed event that blocks san diego for the whole weekend will not return at least until 2023 most likely so we'll see if lego will come back with some cool stuff then uh, well, let me go now in the comment section below what you think, uh, kind of like an opinion-based video. Uh, Comic-Con is close and dear to my heart, so I had to say something about it, seeing that lackluster of an exhibitor response from LEGO, uh, and I just hope it's gonna come back to somewhat normal. You know, if they even never ever get exclusive minifigures back into the San Diego Comic-Con uh, venue, at least their booth was something to look forward to. Usually those were sets, early releases, a full uh, showcase of certain sets coming usually a month or two after comic-con so that was always something to look forward to despite the exclusiveness of the minifigures and all that so i hope that for return but for now this is what we're getting let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, hit the like subscribe and all that and i'll see you in the next video peace out bye